So in this part, we will be solving this same problem by using the units of activity method here. The units of activity means the number of miles driven. Okay. See that uh, from this problem, we can see that um, during the five year period, the company expects to drive the van 105,000 miles. Okay. And let's see what are the actual miles they have driven. So year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 21,700, 24,500, so in this way, so year 5, they have driven 25,900 miles, okay? So first thing that we need to do, we need to calculate the depreciation per mile, okay? Let's see how to do that. So the first one is, we will calculate the depreciable amount. The depreciable amount is, uh, let's get rid of the comma. Depreciable amount is the cost of the bank, initial cost and uh, residual value that is 4,500 divided by number of miles driven. Okay, number of miles that can be driven. So this is the per mile depreciation. Okay. Okay, so depreciation per mile is 0.37 so let's write 0.37 okay so since the depreciation rate per mile is uh, fixed so we are writing the 0.37 for every year and here are the miles driven uh, we have copied this value from here okay uh, they are given and now let's calculate the depreciation so you can easily see that the depreciation per year would be equal to miles driven multiplied by depreciation rate per mile, okay? So, which is equal to, so, miles driven multiplied by depreciation rate per mile, okay? So, we can easily copy this formula by double click number here. So, you will see that this one multiplied by this one is equal to this. So, the same way. And let's calculate the accumulated depreciation. Uh, the first year, this is the accumulated depreciation. And the second year, the first year depreciation plus second year depreciation. And third year, the depreciation of the first and second year plus the depreciation for the third year. And in the fourth year, the depreciation for um, first, second, and third year plus the depreciation for fourth year. Okay, now uh, fifth year's depreciation, how much will be the depreciation for fifth year? We will um, calculate later because we need to maintain. Uh, the residual value of 4,500 and the rest of the amount would be the depreciation for the fifth year. And now let's see the book value at the end of the year. So the book value should be so yeah, 43,350 minus accurate depreciation of that year. Okay. Then again the same thing 43,350 minus this one. Okay. And then Again, for the 3350 minus this one, okay, and fourth year, fourth year would be the same, minus this one, accurate depreciation. Okay, now, in the at the end of the fifth year, we need to maintain the 4500 depreciation, yeah, residual value okay so for that reason here the accumulated depreciation would be equal to how much the accumulated depreciation would be the cost minus this residual value this is the accumulated depreciation for fifth year and what would be the depreciation for the fifth year so you can easily see that so this is the accumulated depreciation until fourth year so the fifth year depreciation would be the final accumulated depreciation minus accumulated depreciation until fourth year. So this is the uh, depreciation for the fifth year. So you can see this is how we calculate the depreciation under the method of units of activity. Okay. So uh, one note that you can see that. So if I ask you that what is the depreciation in year 4 
okay it's very simple what you will do so you will calculate that depreciation per mile and you will just multiply the number of miles driven so which is 20,700 multiplied by the rate of depreciation so this is the amount of depreciation for the fourth year okay this is the depreciation okay the fourth year this is the amount of depreciation. so I hope you have got it so thank you so much